All right. Um, you're seeing a bird pl plucking the crap out of a bear's head for some reason. Um, so I haven't done a video in a whole lot of time. I think it's been a couple weeks since I did that RuneScape thing because that took place on Double XP Weekend. Um, since then, I've had a pretty monumental increase in the quality of my uh, setup here. I've actually uh, just got my new capture card in today. I'm actually playing this on my Xbox One. And I'm giving it a bit of a test because uh, of an LP that I plan on doing. Um, it can't start for another month or so yet, but um, I wanted to get this out of the way and test it so that I know that when I'm actually ready, I can just sort of do that and won't, won't have to worry about uh, shitty quality. Um, so basically, what have I actually picked up? Well, I picked up a new microphone. Uh, I picked up one of those blue Yetis. Um, I got it on Express Post, got it the other day, um, spent a little bit of testing on it. I have absolutely no idea what the hell Bottles just said. It was probably something to do with completing the um, thing here as quickly as possible, which I don't really care that much. Oh, hang on. Da -da -da -da. Right trigger. Okay, thank you. So that you don't actually have access to it until Bottles tells you. It's like, hey, I've played this game before, I already know what to do. No, you can't do it because you have not actually unlocked it. Which is kind of unnecessary, but whatever. I'm um, going to be doing a little bit of messing around in Clanker's Cavern just to sort of test this out and sort of, I guess... I feel like I want to try to just have a separate video where I just update people on what I'm actually doing. But I figured I might as well just do it here, um, just to save the time of having to upload two videos. So uh, basically what's happened is my channel for the most part has been here primarily for um, Yu-Gi-Oh based videos. Um, I've basically decided I'm actually done with... I'm done with me basically I'm done with meta. So if I'm ever going to do any Yu-Gi tubing in the future it's going to be... Um, it's going to be based more around the fun aspect of the game, and even then, I highly doubt that, because I actually don't really know if I'm ever going to be going back to Yuki Tubing again, which is why I decided to put the LPs back on this channel to begin with. I had a um, video where I sort of asked whether it's a good idea to put the LPs back on this video. I decided that that was, in fact, the case, um, and so I've decided, well, if I'm going to do stuff, I figured I might as well try to be just a tad more professional about it. I think I got the um, influence of it from Boaty or something. I paid no attention to what Brent Hill just said then because I'm trying to focus entirely on Leg Chomper. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to focus entirely on actually recording the commentary here and haven't been doing a whole lot. Um... And so I've just been sort of wandering around. It's been a while since I've actually played this game. Um, this file, I'm a bit... I've Since I've actually worked out how to beat this game 100%, I've always been a bit weird about actually going after everything I possibly could as soon as possible. Um, so I think what I, I think that literally the only reason I'm here is because... I don't even have a reason. Um... But I guess just for the hell of it, open this level up. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play through it anyway. But who cares? I don't think people really care that much about what the hell I do in this. It's not exactly like this is an LP or anything. It can actually potentially be an LP. Um, I could quite legitimately start this as my next, as my very next LP, just because. I mean, if the quality goes through fine, then obviously um, this will be the best way to record it. Um, I could easily have done this on emulated years and years ago, um, but I figured I, I figured since I had access to the best quality, I figured I'd go with that, um, uh, just because, again, sort of feeling just a little bit more, uh, professional. I'm not, obviously, the most perfect of professional. I can't talk, um, in case it hasn't been painfully obvious to people. Um, let's see. Can I actually get up here and get that Mumbo token? I know there's a way to get up there. Oh, jeez. I, I, I almost got it. I almost got it. I think I had the trick worked out there, but, um, maybe in the LP I'll try to be a bit more active about doing that. But, yeah, there's not much else I can really say. I mean, the Yugi tubing is really sort of on a situation... It's in a situation where it's basically like, don't really expect it but don't just go blindly assuming that I'm done with it. 
I don't ever want to say that I'm actually done with Yugi tubing. I just figured since I got burnt out in the back end of last year, I did actually make another attempt to go back to the game, and that lasted maybe like two or three tournaments. And out of one, and out of those tournaments, I think I only um got to the um end maybe once. All the other ones I just dropped out of because I could, didn't really feel up to it. So. Um, obviously my interest in Yu-Gi-Oh has sort of dwindled a lot. I think most of that's been sort of overtaken by RuneScape. Um, my interest in RuneScape, as, as a matter of fact, has actually been sort of dwindling just a tad as well. Um, I haven't been doing a whole lot on RuneScape except for, you know, maintaining miscellanea, um, doing clue scrolls and whatnot. I've, um, as you can see, I got a couple of, uh, 99s during the double XP weekend and, um, of course, now that post double XP weekend, it's sort of like the phase where you just sort of feel like, well, I just made a shitload of gains that weekend. I don't think I can really match that, um, and I probably won't. And I probably won't actually be able to match those gains. To be perfectly honest, I gained nearly 40 million XP in that uh, weekend. Clanker, piss off! I'm trying to get notes. Those notes are at really high quality as well. It's, it's quite amazing. I'm feeling really excited about being able to record. LPs off of this as, as well, because I can also do this off the Wii U. I just got to give that a bit of a test. I might do a bit of a Smash video on that and sort of do some stuff with that. Um, I don't actually know if there's any games on the Wii U that I can really LP, um, or that I really feel like LPing, aside from maybe Pikmin 3, but I'm not going to do that until Pikmin 2 is done. Um, Pikmin 2 won't be that much of a challenge. I just got to be able to work out work my way around the uh, assholishness of the Hopog, because I still got to use that to record Pikmin 2. Um, because uh, I'm have to I have to record that on the Wii obviously and so I need to stick with the composite cables on that one and the the Elgato that I've got now the HD60 only works works with our HDMI so um, obviously I can't do anything that's not uh, HDMI on that um, and there's not a whole lot I can really do so in terms of actual value this might not have been the best thing to, for me to grab but at the moment it seems to be the only thing that's actually good for recording. Um, stuff from Xbox One at the uh, at the current moment, so I figured I'd go with it. Um, obviously, I'll do a bit of messing around with it. I do have a handful of Xbox One games which I can play. Um, it's just a matter of um, whether or not I really feel up to them. I mean, I've got Shadow Warrior. That would make for a pretty decent LP. I've played through that twice, and I reckon I know a, enough about the games that I can actually sort of provide some level of interest in commentary to that. Um, so if anybody's sort of interested in that, I mean, that's definitely on the uh, back burner. There's obviously this game, Banjo-Tooie, um, and I suppose now I might as well mention that the uh, LP that I plan on doing uh, starting in the next month or so, well, I mean, it doesn't come out until May, uh, is uh, Doom. I'm going to be doing that uh, blind. Um, just because I'm exceedingly hyped for the game, I really wanted to just sort of get in there, sort of hype myself up a bit for it, and take a bit of a different approach to it. I've always been sort of laid back and whatnot. I figured out for Doom, since I'm so hyped up, I'd try to, like, transfer that energy into the commentary in my LP, so, um, that might be pretty interesting. Um, I probably won't be finding any, um, of the noteworthy secrets. I mean, I'm totally expecting a bunch of Easter eggs in Doom. I mean, there was in Rage. Um, there was like a whole bunch of Easter eggs in relation to all the other good stuff that um, it's come out with over the years. Like there was a Wolfenstein room, a Quake room, Doom room, blah 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 blah. blah. Um, uh, I think there was also like a Fallout reference as well. Um, yeah, there was like a Vault Boy head that you had to pick up, and that was that was brutal. And I don't exactly need um, this much health, or, although. That was actually pretty badass. It might not actually be a bad idea to end this test recording on this, because how long has it been going for? Nine and a half minutes. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'll just go ahead and grab this jiggy and then bring an end to this. So, basically, the to cap off this entire video, it's basically just, I'm testing my new equipment. I have new equipment. It makes me look a little bit more professional, except it really doesn't, because you don't see my face. Um, I have... It broadens my uh, LPs. It broadens the amount of LPs that I can do, so I can 
present some different stuff, such as this game or more shoot 'em up games and whatnot. There's obviously still a bunch of stuff that I can do through emulator on the PC and whatnot, so I always have that avenue. I just figured I'd sort of expand my horizons, I suppose. And that's been a project that's been in the works for, I think, four years now since I got that dazzle and got absolutely no use out of it. It's, I might as well just sort of like get rid of it or something like that. I could probably get like maybe ten bucks out of it or some shit. Um, but uh, yeah, as for the Yugi tubing, don't expect it. Don't go thinking that I'm, I'll, don't go thinking that I'm finished with it. Um, I guess I could just, you just say I'm taking an extended break and if I ever feel like getting back into it again, um, you will obviously be the first to know. So with that out of the way, um, I am done with this video because now it's gone up to 11 minutes. So yay, um, old YouTube time limits. That would have been a bit of a mess up to get stuff done in like one one jiggy in 11 minutes, which is it would be unfortunate progress-wise, but whatever.